100,000 years ago. The Earth lay frozen beneath the grip of the Ice Age. H Howling winds swept across endless plains, Mammoths. while forests stood buried under blankets of snow and ice. Within this majestic yet unforgiving landscape, two powerful beings shared the stage. The Neanderthals, ancient warriors of survival, and the Mammoths, towering giants of the frozen world. Their encounters were more than a struggle for survival. They marked the beginning of a relationship that would shape the very course of human evolution. Neanderthals were short, yet powerfully built, their muscles forged to endure the bitter cold. Their brains were nearly as developed as modern humans, granting them the ability to craft stone tools, control fire, and thrive in close-knit groups. They were true masters of survival in the Ice Age. Day after day, they faced not only the merciless chill of their environment, but also the colossal beasts that roamed the plains. Among them, the mammoth loomed as both the greatest opportunity and the greatest threat. The Neanderthals were not reckless predators. They were patient strategists. For days, sometimes weeks, they followed the great herds of mammoths across the frozen plains, reading the land as if it were a living map. They studied their movements, where the herds stopped to drink, when they rested, which members lagged behind. The young were too well protected, the strong too dangerous, but the sick or the old could mean the difference between life and death for an entire clan. When the moment finally arrived, silence fell across the hunters. With gestures and instinct, they moved as one. Torches were lit, firelight flickering against the icy night. Stone-tipped spears, sharpened by hours of labor, were raised in trembling hands. Then, with cries echoing through the valley, they charged. The ground shook as the mammoth bellowed in fury, thrashing against its attackers. Each step of the beast could crush bone, each swing of its tusks could scatter hunters like careful. leaves. The, wind the Neanderthals strong. risked everything. Some hunts ended in triumph, a slain giant providing food, <clears throat> clothing, and tools Grunt. for months to come. Others ended in tragedy, with the snow stained red, and families left to mourn. Every hunt was a gamble with fate. Success meant survival through the cruel winter. Failure meant hunger, suffering, and loss. Yet in this perilous contest with the Mammoth, the Neanderthals we forged something greater than survival. Our they learned resilience, discipline, and the power of cooperation. These hunts did more than feed a tribe. They laid the foundation of strategy, unity, and courage that would define the human story. We will feast tonight! The Neanderthals did not always bring down their prey with fire and spears. The more often, they relied on the misfortunes of nature itself. The frozen plains were merciless, and mammoths too could fall. Struck down by illness, trapped in snowdrifts, or weakened by age and hunger. When such a giant collapsed, the Neanderthals' new opportunity had arrived. They approached cautiously, torches in hand, their breaths steaming in the bitter cold. Around the fallen beast, stone tools flashed in the firelight as hands both skilled and desperate began the work of transformation. Nothing would be wasted. The flesh was cut into heavy slabs, roasted for immediate feasts or dried and smoked to last through the long winter nights. The hides, thick and insulating, were stripped away and stitched into cloaks and boots that kept icy winds from biting the skin. The bones, massive and unyielding, were shaped into spear shafts, scrapers and hammers, tools that would carry the clan through countless challenges. And then there were the tusks, those towering spirals of ivory. To some they were ornaments, carved into beads and pendants. To others, they were canvases, etched with symbols that may have spoken of the hunt, of the spirit of the mammoth, or of something far more mysterious, a growing sense of culture and belief. Archaeologists have uncovered remarkable evidence of this ingenuity. In the cold valleys of Eastern Europe, entire shelters have been found built from the bones of mammoths, ribs and skulls stacked high and lashed together to form walls against the wind. Within these shelters, fires once burned, children once slept, and families survived, protected not just by stone and fire, but by the very remains of the giant beasts they followed. For the Neanderthals, the mammoth was far more than prey. It was a lifeline, 
a wellspring of resources that sustained every aspect of their existence. From food and clothing to weapons and homes, the mammoth was both a gift and a guardian of survival. In its massive body lay the key to enduring the Ice Age itself. To live off the mammoth was to live in balance with nature's harsh generosity. A reminder that even in death, the great giants shaped the destiny of humankind. Look at these magnificent The mammoth beasts. was more than flesh and bone. It stepped Our into the spiritual world of prehistoric skilled. humans. Deep within European caves, illuminated by flickering firelight, carvings of mammoths have been found etched onto stone walls. These were not simple records of the hunt. They may have been prayers, rituals of hope, offerings to the unknown forces that ruled survival. The mammoth became a symbol of raw power, feared and revered in equal measure. To challenge such a creature was to confront nature itself. To depict it on stone was to bind its spirit, perhaps to summon fortune before the next hunt. In these silent caves, we glimpse the dawn of imagination, the moment when humanity began to dream, to believe, to search for meaning beyond hunger and cold. For the Neanderthals, the mammoth was more than prey. It was an icon, a reminder of the vast, untamed power of the Ice Age world, and the first spark of culture taking root in the human soul. Mammoths did not walk the Ice Age alone. They were part of a vast, living network that stretched across the frozen plains. Herds of bison thundered over the tundra, wild horses grazed in sweeping fields, and woolly rhinoceroses lumbered through the snow. Lurking in the shadows were predators of terrifying strength. The cave lions, larger than any lion alive today, ready to strike at the weakest of the herds. The Neanderthals lived within this complex web of life. To survive, they watched and learned. Mammoths, with their keen sense of direction and ancient migration paths, became guides through the wilderness. Following the trails of these giants often led to water, food, or safe passage across the plains. Their footprints were roadmaps. Their presence, a sign of life in an otherwise desolate world. In this unforgiving landscape, humans, mammoths, and countless other species were bound together. Sometimes in conflict, sometimes in silent cooperation. It was a world both brutal and beautiful, where every creature, from the smallest to the most immense, played a role in the great drama of survival. But the wheel of evolution never stands still. Around 40,000 years ago, the Neanderthals vanished from the Earth. Their fate remains a mystery. Perhaps a changing climate that froze their food supplies. Perhaps waves of disease. Or perhaps the relentless competition with Homo sapiens, our direct ancestors, who spread swiftly across the continent. Only a few thousand years later, it was the mammoth's turn. Hunted by humans who now mastered new weapons and strategies, impressed by a warming climate that shrank their icy homeland, the great herds dwindled until at last, they were gone. The loss was more than the disappearance of a species. It was the end of an age. With the mammoths, humans had lost an immense source of food, must keep shelter, the fire and cultural strong. meaning. The giants Yet in their leaving. absence, our ancestors were forced to adapt, to pursue smaller game, to gather with greater skill, to innovate in ways that would propel them into a new chapter of history. The giants were gone. But their shadow lingered, shaping the destiny of humankind long after their thundering footsteps faded from the frozen earth. Even today, echoes of that ancient bond remain. In the DNA of every modern human, scientists have discovered traces, 2 to 4 percent, of Neanderthal ancestry carried silently through the ages. Beneath the permafrost of Siberia, the frozen bones of mammoths are unearthed, perfectly preserved, whispering stories of a vanished world. Archaeologists uncover tools carved from mammoth ivory, shelters built from their bones, and cave walls etched with their likeness. Each artifact, a fragment of memory, piecing together the human journey. The story of humans and mammoths is not only a tale of the past, it is a reminder. In the struggle for survival, no species exists alone. Every encounter, Every alliance, every battle leaves a mark, shaping the path forward. And perhaps, when we gaze into the eyes of the elephants that walk our world today, we see more than an animal. We glimpse the reflection of a time when In giants the heart roamed of the beside ice us. Age, 
when Neanderthals and mammoths shared the earth. The world. This is the Captured legacy they left ivory. behind, carved in bone, in genes, and in our imagination. If you wish to walk deeper into these shadows of prehistory, to uncover more stories of survival, mystery, and evolution, join us at Prehistoric Shadows, where the ancient world still breathes.